So as I said in the previous video, the settings menu is for setting the unit up. So predominantly this is about setting up the MIDI and then it goes on to setting up uh, things like uh, chord builders, etc. But I'm not going to go into that. All I'm going to concentrate on at the moment is just setting the MIDI up for the unit. So to get into settings, we make sure the settings symbol is illuminated. It says settings and then we press the rotor encoder. Now, one of the things I have found with this unit is the, the press on the rotor encoder is a firm press. A light click, click press doesn't seem to register. Now, whether that's a quirk of the unit or, or something else, I don't know, but normally a firm press will actually execute the menu item. So the first thing we're going to look at is the first option that's set up, which is MIDI I.O. And you may be wondering why we need to set MIDI I.O. up. Well, if I click into MIDI I.O., what you can see on screen is that the MIDI on this unit can work USB, it can work standard MIDI cable, or the DIN cable as it's, it's more correctly termed, or wirelessly. And that can be set up for both inputs and outputs. And to change the setting, what you do is you press uh, F1 for DIN, like so, F2 for USB, F3 for wireless. And to set the output ports, you press Shift and F1, F2 and F3. Now I have my unit set up specifically just to use DIN and USB. I don't have any wireless devices that I want to use with this unit, so I'm just not going to switch it on. Um, but if you had wireless units, then you could switch this on. To save the settings, you press the uh, tick key. If you didn't want to save the settings, you press the X key. Now I've already set this up, so I'm just going to press X to cancel out. The next option, again, pressing that, is these three options, which I need to... That's it. And the first option is setting the MIDI channels up for key plus mode. And then we have the MIDI channels for diatonic mode. And then we have the MIDI channels for poly keys mode. So each of these different play modes can have different setups, but the setup regime for each one is the same. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to MIDI channel key plus mode. And I'm gonna click on that. And what you should be able to see here is this screen here, which relates to these buttons. So if you look, each one of these buttons will have a circle on it. And then we also have what I'm actually currently using or currently running MIDI in and out on. So at the moment, I'm only using uh, MIDI out through the DIN cable. But if I wanted to enable the USB, I would do that. And I can set up a range of of MIDI uh, channels to actually send and receive for each one of these particular items. Now I'm going to leave this pretty generic at MIDI channel 1 and I'm just going to use the DIN for the moment. If you want to change the MIDI channel there are the MIDI channels there and you press plus and minus to move up and down through the MIDI channels. Again I've set this up the way I want it set up so at the, this point in time I'm just going to hit cancel to exit. The next thing I'm going to go into, and this is the last one on settings because I'm not going to go into the builders at this point in time, because if I'm brutally honest, I haven't had them enough time to play with these to be able to actually do a, a lesson on them. So I'm going to go into the foot control and touch strip because you can change how these operate. Again, press the rotary encoder and what you will see is that volume is set up. So if I put an expression pedal on this, that expression pedal would work for volume. However, I can change that by using the rotary encoder here. And I could ha actually have it change the balance. I could have it change the pan. I can have it add an effect. 
I can have it for foot control or after touch or modulation. So I can add all of those in with this particular control. I'm going to leave it volume. I don't actually have a volume pedal attached. If I now go back into that like so and then if I use the so to select what I want done with the switch press F1 to select the switch tab and as you can see at the moment it's set to sustain but there's a whole raft of other options there I could choose and if I go for the touch strip, which is this thing over here, again, you can see that there are a number of different controls there that I can set. Um, again, I'm not using that really at the moment, so I'm not going to set any of that. And hit X to exit, or tick to save. So this is the point in the video where I turn around to you, my viewer, and say, if you enjoyed the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up. The way the Google and YouTube analytic engines work is that the more likes you get against the video, the more it gets promoted by YouTube and Google, and therefore more people with the similar interest to what you have and I have get to see this content. This channel is driven by my love of music technology. That's what it's called, the music tech guy thought. If you've got queries, want to ask questions about themes or issues I raise on this channel, please, please, please do. Put your comments into the uh, comment section below the video and I will try to address whatever issue it is you've raised or whatever question you've raised. If it's something to do with me making future videos in terms of uh, how to do something on a particular piece of equipment I possess, please feel free to say that as well. I can't promise to make videos on all the requests I get, but I do have a jolly good go at making most of them. Around about here is the subscribe button. Again, to do with the uh, YouTube and Google analytic process, the more subscribers the channel gets, the more the channel gets promoted, and the more people get to see the content that you have obviously just watched. If you want to see my latest video, it will be in one of these two boxes on this side of the screen. Also, there is a second box there, and that video will be chosen for you by YouTube based on your YouTube preferences. I look forward to the next time that we interact, and I do mean interact because I always enjoy reading your comments back to me. But for now, Bye-bye.